Hey YouTube, it's Team B coming at you once again with another toy review. As Tarantulas would say, this is a this one's a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> Come out, Black Arachnia! Ooh, be still my circuit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is Black Arachnia from the Kingdom toy line there. Um, representing, uh, you know, from Beasts, also from Beast Wars as well. Um, as you can see, she is a Black Widow spider. Yep. Looks real good from the top and everything. On top and everything, you got a uh, course here. Legs, they are posable. Yep, they can uh, move and they hold her. They hold her up pretty well. Um, fortunately, they actually hold her up uh, better than the masterpiece figure. I've actually, uh, when I saw a review of the uh, masterpiece figure, I move it a little bit closer for myself. <laughs> but when I uh, saw a review of the masterpiece Black Arachnia figure, uh, turns. Yeah, the legs um uh were not exactly the best at holding up because they had a lot because of course the figure was bigger and there was a lot more in it. However, even with it being a bigger figure and also trying to, you know, being show accurate, sort of like what this one's doing, uh yeah, there's one thing that that neither this or the masterpiece can do very well. And that's hide the kibble junk there. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, because in the show, Black Arachnia was, um, you know, was full on Black Widow Spider. And then she transformed into this slender, sh slim, uh, slim streak feminine robot mode there that was, that had a very, uh, sexual appeal to a certain silver bolt. <laughs> yep. As uh, as a um, my lady, <laughs> ma'am, it would be my honor to be your hero. Oh, Rover. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, but other than that, it's um pretty good. The spider, at least you know what we can get. Um, you can see there's a little something on the back. Um, that's not. Uh, that wouldn't normally be there in the show. Uh, you'll find out what that is when she transforms. Um, you can see her robot legs and arms, all that kind of, and also even her weapon underneath. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much pretty much the best way to get her in the spider mode is pretty much just curling up, curling her up, her robot mode underneath the spider parts. Yeah, that's uh. Pretty much the best you're gonna get. So, uh, aside from that, uh, yeah, articulation, you, like I mentioned, you got your leg movements there. Um, kind of gotta be, yeah, see, so you gotta be careful because, uh, now the weapon, yeah, because for one thing, the weapon is attached to these little, um, things here on the robot mode arms underneath. Uh, it's not exactly the best attachment. It can stay in there somewhat good, but, uh, but, you know, at least a little bit of movement, uh, around, uh, you, it will come off. It's kind of best if you maybe have it to the side, but make sure you don't lose it because it is a, it is her trademark weapon in robot mode and you definitely don't want to lose a trademark weapon. So, so since that's out the way, yeah, you can do poses like this yeah let's see let's see how she can stand like ooh, that's actually pretty good <laughs> yep yeah. uh one of the best scenes uh from beast wars uh in season one that was kind of hilarious uh, involving her and cheetor uh funny thing about it um uh, being that Cheetor was sort of the youngest of the uh, Beast Wars characters, sort of the kid of the, I guess, the Robin to the group. Uh, kind of like a, I guess he was starting out as like a preteen or something like that in season one. Uh, 
never really, it's not certain how the time go passes in the show. But uh, we'll just say that maybe he was like a preteen. And then, you know, as um, season three, got into season three, you know, maybe he got like 16 or uh, started, as Rat Trap say, hit cyber puberty. So anyway, <laughs> his involvement with Black Arachnia, he was like, uh, there was this one scene, Black Arachnia shows up. Ah, the perfect place for the birth of a new Predacon. Don't count on it, web breath. By the way, how do you dance with all those skinny legs? Oh, this must be my day for cats. And then shot a web at Cheetor, and Cheetor dodged to the course. You gotta be faster than that to bag this cat. You don't know what fast is, furball. <laughs> I know what ugly is, and you're it. <laughs> fast cat one, spider, zippo. Beast mode. And of course, Black Arachnia got pissed, transformed, and pretty much un unleashed the, <laughs> as the priest and hunchback of Notre Dame would say, the fires of hell on him. Uh, basically, just uh, basically fired her little spider leg uh, lasers at her. But yeah, pretty much like the equivalent of the hunchback of Notre Dame priest saying the fires of hell. Yeah. And yeah, I'm referring to the play sale, so. <laughs> Ooh, he cussing! Oh! <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> sort of like how Jiminy Cricket got away with saying jackass in Pinocchio. Uh, kids were like, Ooh, he cuss! No, guys, um, that word, that's how they refer to donkeys. <laughs> yep, so, uh. So, anyway. <laughs> Ooh, got a little PG there for a second. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, not much else, uh, we can really show you. Um, I do will say I like, um, the, now that's her robot mode arms, of course, we all know. Uh, the, sh I guess you could say the shoulder, uh, pads or connection to it. But the way it looks from this angle underneath the spider head, it's actually a pretty interesting look there. Uh, it's not something that we'll be seeing in the show, because obviously, you know, when they were in beast mode in the show... None of the robot parts would be visible or anything like that. Uh, I think until they hit Transmetal. But um, but for the toy, yeah, it's it um doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't know exactly what you would call that from appearance, but um, it's a pretty interesting look. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's get her transformed. Black Arachnia terrorize. <laughs> <laughs> or is she uh or if she wants to get a, a smart mouth with Scorponok. There just as Megatron said. Did this Megatron said? Did this Megatron said? Do you ever get tired of groveling to that Saurian? Megatron is our leader. He rewards loyalty and punishes those who oppose his will. Ooh, I'm all the quiver. <laughs> So, so, let's get the transforming uh, before I rant on too much. Okay, let's see. First, gonna get her. Well, I guess first, gotta get her arms out, of course. Uh, which her leg, her spider legs are attached to her robot arms. Uh, let's see. Gonna. I think you can. Uh, let's see. It's, I think yeah, you kind of gotta get the legs out. Um. Yeah, get the legs out. On out there, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, because it has to be. A, oh, yeah, yes. This is why, and then you're about to find out why that extra spider head is was placed there. Uh, it's very, it's a very vital importance there. Um, there we go. So, uh, get the arms kind of out there. Let's see, uh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a little, this is a little thing here, um, underneath her spider head. Yeah, there we go. Pop that. Spin that around there. I gotta be careful. Uh, don't want her, any of her legs to pop off during this. 
they can't if they do pop off they can come back on don't worry but um yeah i'm trying to do this without popping them off there uh some people will purposely pop them off uh trans in order to transform her hmm. bring her her bus line down <laughs> yep the sexy bus line and what are we gonna do next bring her robot mode head on in yep looks pretty uh show accurate too in the beast war show now here's what i was mentioning about the extra spider head that's here and i kind of yeah my sometimes my camera will crook because there's this little bar piece on on my right here that my arm might hit during all this let's see if i can uh fix that there um yeah, I guess not. Oh, well. Anywho, uh, what you gonna do? Uh, take the, uh, the Beast Mode spider head that has the red eyes on it, as you can see. You can get a good look at that. You get a good look right there. I'm gonna take that and tuck it in to this, to the spare spider head, which is now visible. In robot mode, that's what gives the um, the show accurate appearance of her robot mode there. And now we're going to arrange the arms how you how you like get her hands and everything in place, the claws. Let's see. Um. Then do the same with the other claws in place. Kind of arrange the legs however you like there, and uh, on the back. Uh, you're going to, yeah, she's not really that hard to transform there. Just a matter of getting her curled out of that ball. <laughs> yeah, it's bas basically putting her in beast mode. You're just putting her in, in all, you're just curling her up there underneath her spider mode. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you missed it, uh, let me show you again. Okay, yeah, like, take that, fold it in, and then just put it back. And there you go. <laughs> So, I'll just get her to stand up here, then, and look at the camera. Huh. Oh, come on, don't be shy, don't be shy, black, black, yeah. Don't really take you for a shy type person. So yeah, there she is in her robot mode, all out of the spider mode. This, I think this is the second, I think the third female Transformer that I've done a toy review of there in my um, toy review list. Um, I, I did Air Razor and then RC recently. RC recently. Air Razor was the first one, and now we got Black Arachnia. <laughs> so yeah, she um, looks pretty good. Uh, the only um, only thing is on the back, uh, her spider back. Um, kind of is a little wide in the back uh in the show um her you didn't have this it was just all slender and everything but it's not too too it's not really that bad there and i mean that's probably you know that's kind of the best that they could uh get it i'm not sure if the masterpiece makes that possible or not i have to take a look at the review of that again uh fully to make sure but but even with that, that's still that's still pretty good. I mean, you could just say that, you know, she's packing, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yep. Um, you got a weapon here. You can put it right in her claw. It actually, it, it will fit in her claw. And they did um, make the arrangements for that to happen. There you go. Yep, she would, um, in the show, she would fire this either as sort of like a grapple hook or sometime it would actually just fire an actual gunshot, laser shot or something like that. Um, there is the only, um, she can move her legs. She can move her legs, obviously, real good, bend at the knee. Uh, especially, you know, considering the fact that you have to curl her up to go into spider mode. Feet got pretty good movement. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, you get a little bit of side, not too much side to side with the legs. Um, you can move the arms all kinds of ways. The claw, like the, like her, 
the claws, the claws, and of course, uh, this can be moved all kinds of ways as well. Yeah, just kind of go crazy with that. Uh, head has a good movement, as you can see, it's very loose. Uh, so she can go, she can look up, she can look down. What you looking at down there? <laughs> she can look down at, uh, hey, doing that. Don't that look fabulous? <laughs> hey, girlfriend, you know I look good. <laughs> I'm a bad girl, just like Harriet. <laughs> yeah, she pretty much is. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly if she would be considered Harriet or Jay West, uh, type bad girl or not. Um, guess, uh, if, guess, um. I guess in a way because she was uh she was one in the show she was with the Predacons both season one and two. Uh towards the end of season two, um uh, she was sort of seeing Silverbolt, who was a maximal, you know, one of the good guys. Uh and Silverbolt was having sort of a thing for sort of had a Romeo Juliet kind of thing going, because you know, they're two from two different sides and yeah, and Silverbolt was all about, you know, being heroic and courageous and everything. Um, in a way, it can also, their relationship also would be sort of like what Disney was trying to do in their Descendants movie with Ben and Mal, but a lot better. A lot better. Yes, I said it, Disney. Black Arachnia and Silverball did a much better job than what you tried to do with Ben and Mal. Yeah, which really, to be honest, uh, don't really, uh, after, you know, seeing some better options, don't really think even that was a good thing to start with to begin with, you know. Just because one show can make something like that work doesn't mean it can work for every other show. Sort of like how you try to make... Descendants in the High School Musical. You can't make every movie High School Musical. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, but yeah, in the show, but yeah, there was uh, her and Silver Bolt, they had a thing going. Uh, and there was kind of some, there was kind of some trouble over it. And Silver Bolt, while he was with her, would try to convince her to be a Maximal because when she originally arrived in her stasis pod, she was a Maximal protoform that got reprogrammed by Gerantulus. Um, however, uh, it, between the finale of season two and the beginning of season three, uh, Megatron tried to do this whole, I'm going to change the course of time thing, but then Black Arachnia was, uh, pretty much in trying to save herself, but at the same time ended up saving the Maximals, um, because of the fact of being made aware that she was a Maximal protoform, uh, actually stopped Megatron's, uh, demented plan and yeah pretty much saved them all and then and then considering the fact that after doing something like that that you know um yeah going back with megatron was probably going to be a bad idea she just figured okay yeah fine i'll join the maximals you know but I, she was still a predicon for a while but you know she did but she you know sided with the maximals um and a lot of it was due to Silver Bolt. Uh, then eventually, they tried to they had to try to get this shell program out of her that Tarantulas had put in her that was trying to kill her. So they did this like this operation, try to get it out of her. It kind of failed at first, but then but then this Transmetal Two program came in and pretty much miraculously brought her back as a Transmetal Two Maximal. So. Yeah, that's a pretty good little storyline she had there. <laughs> yep. And then, of course, in the Beast Machines uh, spinoff, she lost Silver Bowl and was trying to get him back. So, there was that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, you can do, you can, oh, see, leg just came on right on tape. And put it back on. And it, and her legs have actually even come off in the show. Um, I think the first episode that she was in. Um, they, someone, um, they were actually just shot off and Black Arachnia didn't even flinch. She just kept walking toward, uh, the one that was shooting at her <laughs> and then started just wailing on him with kicks and punches. 
So yeah, she's a pretty tough bet. She's a she's pretty bad and pretty tough. So um, anyway, this position right here I just did. Um, this is something she would also do on the show. Where she would have her legs position, her spider legs position like this, and they would just go crazy firing, firing uh, at her enemies like machine guns, like. Sort of like a uh, little funny moment she did that to Silverbolt once um, uh, when they were alone in an episode. And he was like, because uh, she had saved him from a cliff after he saved her from a, uh, I think, a saber-toothed tiger or something. And uh, she was like, are you damaged? Just enough to make me interesting. Why did you save me? Well, uh, there might be other creatures. And the Predacons were listening in on their conversation, and Megatron was like, uh, yuck. <laughs> sort of like how Jay feels about Daddy Derek and uh, Agatha coming up in the reactions, um, in the reaction coming up, um, a little bit in part one and more so in part two. <laughs> oh, seriously, Agatha. <laughs> You'll get more detail when you see it. Um, so, so then the, the scene continued where he's like, lest you forget, you were originally a maximal protoform. Don't even go there. But, so, saving me was indicative of your noble heritage. So, obviously, I said, drop it. Just admit there is a spark of goodness deep inside you. And then, and then she fired off the, the spider leg machine gun. <laughs> Shall I elaborate? Uh, perhaps not. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get the point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was that there. Huh. It was that, and yep. Yeah, so, so there she is. So there, so that's uh, Black Arachnia. Like I say, um, not a very, not a bad figure, especially the rope. The robot mode is definitely worth it. Um, I could say the, you just, the beast mode, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look the best, because it's all curled up, but, you know, neither is the masterpiece, so that just shows you that that's a really hard transform, this is a really hard transforming figure, but I will give them this much credit. They got not only, uh, not just getting as accurate as they could, but also, it looks way... Black Arachnia, this one looks way better than the first time they made Black Arachnia uh, when they made the Transforming Tarantulas way back in the 90s when the show first started. And it's like, okay, well, let's make... How are we going to make Black Arachnia? They just took the Tarantulas model and repainted it. Uh, it wasn't even the color that Black Arachnia is here or in the show. It was they just they just gave it a different color scheme and put some uh and put a butt and, and put a bus line on on over the over what was the chest and said, okay, there's black arachnia. So she pretty much was just a female tarantulas clone. <laughs> Which that was not the case. Yeah, they're both they they both transform into spiders, but they're still different. Yeah, so yeah, this I would def I definitely would take this over what we got back way back in the nineties. So, oh, yeah, you you do not want that. Yeah, you if you got if you want Black Arachnia, get the either get this one or the masterpiece. Um, uh, probably get this because the masterpiece is gonna be like hundreds of dollars. So, yeah, um, if you don't want to pay a whole whole lot of money, yeah, definitely get this one, and uh, just be and uh, do not get the one from the nineties. <laughs> 